Hi everybody, and in this video I'm going to talk about Microsoft Office OneNote. Anyway, moving on to OneNote. As you see, once you actually install and actually open OneNote, you see all of this. All of this that you see is, you know, all the basics and all the stuff. And as you see, for example, you can type anywhere. Type and click. Apparently my computer is lagging like crazy. That's why I can't move my mouse right now. You can see here with the tabs, it's somewhat newer than 2003, it's somewhat different. But it doesn't have, you know, like the ribbon that Microsoft Word has. See all this good stuff. Oh yeah, what's nice is that there's no save button. It just automatically saves all. There's also a whole ton of other stuff over here. All by more cool features that I'm going to go into that later. This is work notebook and then there's personal. I'll go on to that. How can OneNote help me? See all this. Since I am recording in high definition, you would probably see it well if you stick put it on full screen. OneNote will complement your activities in Microsoft Office, Outlook, and Word, and other programs. Okay. Let's stick it all together, gather your equipment. What is nice is technically you can put it into a team effort. Same thing if you do it at school. <coughs> Technically, OneNote is for, um, as you know, high school, college, university, or even middle school students to use. Because as you know, OneNote is in the student home and student package, which also contains Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, stuff that you technically would use for your schoolwork. And all this. Well, what's nice is that you have this. You can move it around if you want. You can move it around. Oh yeah, as I say, ink notes for ink tips. You, if you have a tablet PC, install this. You can write on it using. Well, I don't have it right now. You and my pen's toolbar, and you'll be able to have the toolbar somewhere so you can click on it and start writing instead of typing. Because as you know some tablet PCs or most of them are 13 inches which is kind of more than you would need but some people would want more. Oh what is nice that you can use this. Press the Windows logo key and S. Any problem from it. It will take a picture as you see in here and you can stick it under that. Technically you could do that on Snagit. It's this program right here. Then again my computer's lagging like crazy. There's Snagit 9. You can use that and use the you can take pictures with it, and you can even copy text, you can take videos, and so on. Now, how to organize your notes? Well, there's a lot of templates that you can choose from. You can get even more online. So you can also stick even more new sections, like right here, when I right click, new, se new section, or new section group. Technically, right now, it's currently in a group right now, or a section is in the group. You can make a new group like for math or a particular bunch of subjects. This is nice too because like um, I don't really have this many subjects, but it's all stuck into a few of them. Because even, oh, customers, patients, clients, and all that other stuff. 
I do like this. But this is somewhat like access. Do we plan any other kind of notes? Notebooks are regular folders and so on. Now search your notes. You can even share, search it right now. I don't have much to search. Oh, you can even <clears throat> this. You can even copy the text if you want. Upload Outlook, since I have no idea how to use this technically, like so. Sign up for email. Send notes to others. You can publish. Click here, file. Publish PDF or XPS. Install and use the add-on. You can download the add-on. The add-on is very small, so you can download easily and install it quickly. Tag important notes. You can tag whatever you want here. You can search other stuff, customize your tags if you want. Use shared notebooks. You can share to other people electronically through the internet, through USB drives, and so on. Upgrade from 2003. If you have 2003, this would be nice to use because some people would have OneNote 2007 and technically has a new format. Apparently, this is, as they, some people would say, Vista format. Same thing with Word and other programs. As you see, OneNote 2003 cannot reach the new OneNote 2007 format. So that's why, as you know, since 2003 is technically XP format. That's why XP is most compatible with most programs. New feature, you can stick more stuff into it, shared. See all of this. You can, count, you can draw stuff, there's calculator, faster search, templates, lots of templates. There's also more resources. We're going to quickly go into the more cool stuff. You can even do the audio search feature. It's either a headset, workers, a microphone right into your mouth, or some other microphone, or a phone, but not the microphone from your from your webcam or laptop, or not this, or not your cell phone. That's all other stuff too. Apparently, it's still lagging. So I'm going to quickly go into, oh, there, right now we're currently in the more cool features. What else can you do? You can do all of this. You search on the web, on your web browser, and you can talk stuff into it. Text recognition, which is nice too, if you don't want to snag it. Side notes, which you can. Other will come quicker. So there's even the mobile version, which is still usable. It's even drag and drop. You can drag this, stick it inside these other notebooks. So you can move this here. So also hyperlinks, tables, so drawing tools for your tablet PC users. Just lasso, calculate for some reason, insert stuff like tippy top and so on. Attach files to your notes, which is also nice, you can just drag it into it. Computer still lagging. Print out. Oh, nice. You can even like either 
insert it or you can drag it into it and it's number two. I can send to where. I'm sorry, I think you see here will be stuck onto here. I'll show a PowerPoint version. Basic tablet PC. There. Pen move. You can just write whatever you want. Page templates. There's a lot of page templates. You can put more online. You can even record stuff if you wish. And there's also full page view. Now, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. This video is just to um, tell you what is part of what is new in Windows 2007. There's a lot of other stuff that's totally cool in it. So, uh, I hope you enjoy it.